Hey guys! Right now I'm at the headquarters of Showreel and I'm here with Francesca. Tenrico hashtag. Um, no, but we're here because we're going to be interviewing. We're interviewing Roberto Saviano, the writer, the creator, the mastermind behind Gomorra. I'm trying really hard not to fangirl out because you guys all know my obsession with Gomorra and like. This is it. Okay guys, it's the next day. Um, I actually wasn't able to film my reaction last night because I had a major headache afterwards and I just wanted to go home. I told Enrico about my day, I told my friends about Saviano, I told everybody about everything but I forgot to tell you guys on camera. Oh my gosh, so amazing. Saviano is such an interesting person. He just has this way of speaking and this way of reasoning that makes you want to listen to him i could listen to him talk for literally hours um it was interesting because at first you know i was like super shy because i'm kind of a shy person in general especially if you're in the presence of somebody like him plus like the whole i'm not italian and i don't speak italian thing but after a while he was talking about how in naples it's super diverse and right now he was shocked to know that there are some Unlike Milan and other cities, the immigrants don't really have like, I mean, they have their own neighborhoods, but there are lots of places where it's completely mixed. Whereas in Milan, you have like Chinatown, where a lot of the Chinese people live. You have a certain street that's where all of the South Americans are. It's a little bit more segregated, but not completely. Anyways, he was saying that in Naples, it was really diverse. And he was really surprised to find out that I guess now in Naples, there are some moms in this one neighborhood that let like the transgender sex workers babysit their kids. So like during the day, they're babysitting the kids. And during the night, they are working. And he said like nowhere else in Italy would that happen. I'm like, you're pretty, I guess you're right. Right. that is pretty interesting and um, so I was able to ask him actually if he purposely put like the all those diverse characters in Gamora because in season two of Gamora you see there's a story about a gay boss there's a story about um there's a transgender girl in the story there's a black girl in the in the show who isn't a prostitute for once um so i was like did you put all of these diverse characters in the show because it's cool to be diverse right now or did you put them in because it's actually like that and he said well once he for one he said that it's actually like that um he said that there are actually like gay mafia bosses and only in naples do these things exist and he also told me that actually, oh man, I don't want to spoil this. Here's a little bit of a spoiler alert. Uh, there's a mafia boss in the show that ends up being gay, right? Uh, and he said that he'd actually, he actually wasn't gay in the book, but the actor called him and said, hey, everybody keeps saying that my character is gay, my character is gay. And he's like, what? And he's like, yeah, they're saying like his mannerisms and blah, 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 he's gay. And so Saviano was like, all right, then let's make him gay. And so he um, wrote it into the show. And I just thought that was so interesting. We talked about a lot of things. We talked about organized crime. We talked about, um, he was telling us about like gangster rap in Naples and how they're using, before they used Neo Melodica as a way to kind of like transmit their message. And now they're doing it through um, Napolitan rap. And they transmit messages amongst themselves, amongst all the clans. But the thing is that regular Italians don't know because regular Italians have no idea what they're saying. It was all really interesting. He's a super interesting person. I wish I could have debated with him more on some other things because, I mean, of course, there were some things that he said that I was kind of like side eye. I don't know if that would really work. And I would have loved to like have an educated discussion with him. But, I mean, didn't really get the chance to. Um, there was, it was interesting because during the live, I knew that racism question was going to get me into trouble. And nonetheless, of course it did because one of the, um, moderators was this one guy who, 
uh is i guess one of the leaders of the afro like in the afro italian community he's one of the more um He's one of those people that claims that Italy is the worst place on earth for black people and that racism in Italy is the same as racism in USA and that black people are the bottom of the food chain in Italy, which of course you guys know that I completely disagree with that. Um, racism in America is completely tied to your skin tone. We have the one drop rule. If you don't know, now you know. Italians were treated so badly in America, not just because they were Catholic and not just because they were foreigners, but because they were foreigners that weren't completely white. In the biggest mass lynching in American history took place in Louisiana and it was against Italians, not black people. The Italians were viewed as colored people in America because they were a little bit darker because of the color of their skin. You can come to America and be white and you'll be fine. You Honestly, you'd have to prove to people that you're a bad person, whereas if you come to America and you're black, you'll, you'll still be fine, but you're always going to have to be proving your accomplishments and proving your worth in the good way. Um, that doesn't happen here in Italy. As I've said, if you're a black person from Australia, America, um, UK, even South America, you're going to be treated differently than a black person from Africa. And even when we're not talking about racism between black and white, you should see how they treat people from Eastern Europe or or gypsies or Arabs before they treat Africans, you know? There are people that have it way worse in Italy and it's not a matter of how light or how dark your skin color is. It's a, all about like classism and where you come from. It's completely different. Nobody's saying that there's no racism in Italy, but it, I think it would be pretty silly to say that it's not acknowledge the differences and it's like how can you solve a problem if you refuse to actually call it what it is that's that's my whole thing like I'm all for like the black Italian struggle and the black Italian movement but I'm also all for accuracy I can't come from one social context and have seen what I've seen and know what I know and actually come here and say and co-sign bullshit I asked the question that they told they prepared for me and it was like yeah so I noticed the difference between racism in Italy and USA this is what I noticed do you guys agree and this one like jumped up he's like no I don't agree and he gave some example that I really to the to right now I still don't understand and you know when you're in a heated conversation with somebody you at that point all the answers don't pop into your head it was that compounded by the fact that the live was in italian so i was like doubly unsure of myself if it was a normal situation i was talking to somebody about that in english i would have been able to respond and shut them down in like two seconds because that's an argument that by now or my i'm really prepared on that argument and i know what i'm saying uh but in that moment i didn't want to embarrass myself i didn't want to turn the whole live into a fight about racism between me and him and um i didn't want to leave a bad impression on saviano so in the end i just like let it go but at the same time i didn't let it go because here i am talking about it despite that i'm not gonna let that those two minutes of uh discomfort uh ruin my night because that was an amazing night oh my gosh Saviano. <laughs> i'm fangirling so hard right now if you know me in real life you know that gamora is bae um you know that that show is my everything and um now i really want to start reading his book the one that i got last night bacio feroce it's new but you know it's like three-fourths in napolitan so we're gonna try but i don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to read it. I might just pass it on to my kids. I had him sign it to my real name and I might just have it as a uh, a gift for my kids because this guy is going down in Italian history and I still can't believe that I met him. Hey, 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 it's a new day you guys. I'm actually going out right now to do like a photo shoot. Okay, by photo shoot, I mean me and my friend are meeting up and we're taking pictures of each other, so. This is my outfit. It's actually supposed to be a sweater dress with some boots. You guys have no idea how hard it is to find sweaters that can be worn as dresses for me or dresses in general because I have super long legs. So if I buy like an oversized sweater, usually they're still too short because my legs are long. And if I buy a normal dress, it comes down too long. Like it's too close to my knees because I'm still short. So. It took a while to find this dress, and now we're gonna go take some pictures of it. So yeah, anyways, this is pretty much the close of the vlog. I also wanted to tell you guys, like give you a little update. In the last vlog, I talked about the fact that I was interviewing for this company, for this internship, and in the end, I did get the internship, so I didn't wanna like leave you guys hanging. I, I got the internship. I'm supposed to start January of 2018, so in like three months, and yeah, I'm super excited. What did you guys think of this vlog? Let me know if you want more <laughs> vlogs, if you found it interesting, 
anything to let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below as always thank you guys so much for you know watching my videos supporting me with all your all the nice things you say and even the mean things you say like that's gonna be it for this one as always like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one mm -hmm.